Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Enhancing the Human Experience, the podcast designed to help you get the most out of life. So in this episode, it's all about how to design your life in two steps. We're keeping it really simple today, right? Not making any complex, not getting complex here, no complexity on the show today. There's enough of that out there. So the idea for this show came to me the other day as I was driving around and thinking of one of my favorite authors, thinking of a quote that she had, and that is Florence Scovel Shin. You know, she wrote a bunch of books in like the 20s and 30s. I don't, I don't know her time range where she was putting out material specifically, but my favorite book of hers, which is The Game of Life and How to Play It, was published in 1925. So that was when she was kind of like at her peak, right? And for those of you who don't know Florence Scovel Shin, she was a really practical uh, manifestation and consciousness healer. And she worked with the power of words, right? And, And clients would come to her and say, you know, hey, I've got a problem with this or that or the other thing. And she would help them design affirmations and these these like healing words to clear up whatever situation was bothering them or, or hindering their happiness. So she was really popular and a lot of people really benefited from her ability to do that. So like I said, she said that life is a game of giving and receiving. And as I was thinking of this week's podcast, I thought, gosh, you know, there is no, that's like the easiest way to look at life giving and receiving. So I thought I'm going to design this podcast around that and share two, basically a two-step way to design your life. And then also we'll talk about later in the podcast, how to apply it, right? How to put this wisdom into practice. So that's important. If we don't do anything with the practice, nothing's ever going to happen. So before we get into the show too far, I want to announce, make a couple of announcements here. And the first is If you were listening on SoundCloud, I don't think a whole bunch of people were, I won't be putting any shows up on SoundCloud anymore for a couple different reasons. Shows one through 10 are up there for, you know, listening, but I won't be putting any more up there. So that's announcement number number one. Announcement number two is if you're interested in my book of quotes, Boundless Joy, which is 101 quotes about our true nature, right? Quotes that really help you tune into who you really are, what's really behind your story, your identity, your ego, ego mind created identity, and transcend all of the stuff that causes us like turmoil and problems in our lives, that's available now in the Amazon Kindle store on Kindle and paperback. So you can find that there and check it out. I'll also eventually be making that book free in a digital format somewhere down the road. I never really intended to make money off that book. I just wanted to test the Kindle system and, um, you know, found all of these great quotes in some of my personal library and some other books that I've read out there. So I just wanted to compile those because they're really beneficial for when, when life like knocks us around. And as we all know, that happens on occasion. So that's available now on Amazon. So those are the two announcements I wanted to get out of the way. Let's get into the show. All right. So step one, let's talk about step one, the giving. This is like the part of the equation that most people don't have a great handle on, right? Don't have a grasp on. A lot of people know exactly what they want in life. They know what they want to receive. That's really clear to them. What's oftentimes more difficult is knowing what they can give to help others, to serve them, right? That's in alignment with their true talents and their gifts and their skills that will help others prosper, right? Help others get what they want. Lots of people have talked about this. In addition to Florence Scovel Shin, you know, Anthony Robbins has a great quote and he said, the secret of living is giving. That is an amazing idea right there. Very, very succinct. Also Zig Ziglar, he was one of the, one of the individuals who made this idea of giving, uh, really like tangible. And he said, Hey, you know, you can get whatever you want in life. As long as you give enough other people what they want or help them get what they want. Right. So he's, he's really making it tangible as well. Also 
Earl Nightingale talked about this in The Strangest Secret. He said, hey, you know, you've got to put the wood in first. Don't just sit by the stove and, and say, give me the heat, right? When there's no wood in there, you haven't given anything. And so why would you get anything in value or return if you haven't given anything? So giving is, is like obviously step one, right? There's no question we've got to give. And in order to do that, we've got to know ourselves. Well, actually for both of these steps, we've got to know ourselves. We got to know what we can give, what we should give, right? And not limit ourselves on the giving. I really think that the reason people don't give as much is a self-esteem issue, right? And a self-worth issue, or maybe a self, like self, um, yeah, self-worth and self-value, right? If you don't value what you are and what you can give, you're certainly not going to give it. You're going to poo-poo it, right? You're going to say, well, it's not even worth anything. So on a different project that I'm working on, I came up with this like mantra or this um, affirmation, I guess, it's either way, that helps people get past that. And it goes like this. I am worthy of giving and receiving what I want in life, right? That covers both sides of the spectrum because a lot of people, a lot of people have the affirmation of I'm worthy of giving, getting what I want in life. And like I said, that's really something we don't need to talk a whole bunch about what you want to receive because that's really clear to you because people are really in tune with what they want, less so on what they can give. So that mantra repeated over and over can like tune up your consciousness and make you believe that you are valuable. You do have something valuable to give, right? It is, I am worthy of giving and receiving what I want in life, right? So knowing yourself and knowing what you can give is the first step. Step number two, like I talked about, knowing what you want to receive. And I think the only caveat here to keep in mind is to not adopt someone else's ideals for the life that you want, right? Don't adopt someone else's, what someone else wants to receive, right? Whether it be material objects or, or circumstances or conditions, just because you maybe haven't dug deep enough into your own self, knowing yourself again, right? To know what you really want, right? So don't just kind of cop out and say, well, I want a fancy car and then a big home and travel and stuff like this. Maybe that's not what you really want, right? And you can avoid a lot of suffering if you get in tune with what you really want and save yourself a bunch of time, energy, and money on the front end by tuning into what you want. So those are really the two steps of designing a life that you want, right? And it's all, both of them are value, right? You're giving value and you're receiving value. So I think that's a really simple way to look at it. So when we talk about putting it into practice, again, like I said, we got to put this into practice in order to make it tangible. You probably have a dream board or a vision board in some way, shape, or form. Maybe it's in a book form. Maybe there is, it's on your phone, whatever. But my suggestion is to split that dream board, vision board in half, right? And make one half about what you want to give and make the other half about what you want to receive. That way you have a full picture of your life and you can kind of focus on everything at one time. If you've got everything on your dream board is what you want to receive, where's the giving, right? Where's the wood? Where is the, where's the step one, right? I mean, you, you can't build a life just on what you want to receive. And that reminds me of Churchill's famous quote, right? I don't have it in front of me at the moment, but it was something to the effect of, hey, you, you build a life you make a living off what you get. You build a life on what you give. I'll put the actual quote on the website, but again, you got to have that well-rounded picture. So if you split the dream board, giving and receiving, you're going to have a concise model based on Florence Scovel Shin's awesome quote, life is a game of giving and receiving of how you can live your life to the fullest and build an extraordinary life, Right. Because at the high end, people who have a lot of money and have achieved a lot of success, 
they transcend all of the like bling and the material objects and the fancy homes and cars and stuff. Now, that's not to say they don't have those, right? If you look at these people, they still have that lifestyle, but they find much more meaning in their craft, their art, in what they're giving, right? In their business. And they, those the material objects kind of take a back seat and I've I've ran across this over and over and some of the types of things these people say is hey yes when I first started my journey those material objects the nice cars the the homes the vacations they kind of drove me right they 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 pushed me to get that but once I got there I didn't find as much meaning in those things as I thought I would. And so my focus changed, right? This, these are the things that really successful people say once they achieve big wealth, right? I was on Instagram just the other day, and I don't know if you're familiar with this um, brand, this supplement Shreds, right? The creator, founder of, Sh of Shreds, Arvin Lal, he wrote a post about this on his Instagram, and he said, hey, you know, people ask me, why I don't like live the dream, why, why I don't live the extravagant lifestyle and go places and do the things and why I'm always working so hard because he's obviously successful at this point in time, right? He's built this shreds brand into a really big company, right? He's got a lot of people out there promoting it, great marketing, great branding. And he, and he said, you know, I like the work that I do and that is what gives my life meaning and all of the other stuff it's nice when I want to go do it, but I, he actually said that I like working, right? And I've heard that over and over from people. So maybe it's something to keep in mind as you work towards your goals and dreams that just because you want the material things, you may not want them once you get there as much as you thought. Let's just put it that way. So got off on a little tangent there, but I think it's really valuable to understand that and keep that in mind. So I hope this show has been helpful and I hope you, you know, take that time to build that dream vision board half and half and focus on the giving and receiving. So we'll wrap it up at that point in time. And until next time, all the best health, wealth, and success. Bye-bye.